Hello everybody, this is going to be my first attempt at uh, putting up a video with my recording system working, hopefully. Hi. And this is in response to Varmut Coyote's question, which is more evil. A lack of emotion, complete lack of emotion, or all emotion. I have problems with the idea. Maybe I missed something. There could be other videos that he's put up that I missed. I'm not around his office. I was like, but let's just stick to the idea. I have t uh, trouble with the idea of evil, but uh, let's just stick to the idea of looking at things in terms of trying to uh, decide whether something is right or wrong, good or evil, uh, for or against that perspective. So far as I understand it, the primary means that allows us to behave what you might call a right or wrong way in terms of how others would evaluate it, and I'm taking that so we're looking at it, is to use empathy as how we decide this. And as far as I know, empathy is an emotional response. So I think we would be rather hard pressed to make any kind of judgment in that respect without emotion. Uh, when it comes down to it, I don't think we could function well without any emotion. As a matter of fact, um, I think Thomas Edison, who, refer, who was quoted as saying something to the effect of I invention is the product of 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. The 1% is small, but it is vital to the invention process. The same goes with life, at least for us, that 1% is emotion, 99% reason, and I think that without that 1% emotion, the reason collapses, because there is no reason to exist. There's no reason to live, there's no reason to die, there's no reason to exist, there's no reason not to exist. Things simply are as they are. What you need is to come to a want. Why do you want to live? Do you want to live? If you want to live, you can come up with a reason or expla explanation or expression of how you're going to accomplish this. But until you have a want to live, Anything you do with reason is just going through the mo going through the motions, and you're not really going to have a very good capacity for using value judgments in terms of empathy and relating to others. I wonder if relating could be classified as an emotion. I'm not sure. That's where I am right now, and this is just a test to see if this will work right now. I'm going to stop there and leave it. And I'd like to hear what you have to say. Always do. Thanks. Bye for now. Wish me luck. <laughs>